Hey you guys, welcome to my channel, The Earth Goddess. So today we are going to do a reading that focus on um, when will you guys get married, okay? As you guys can see, we currently have five options here. Option number one, two, three, four, and five for you guys to choose from. Timestamps will be inside of the description as well as ways to book with me, follow me, and donate to the channel. I am going to be quiet for a little moment just to give you guys enough time to choose over your options. But before I forget, I am going to start um, posting again on Instagram just mini readings that you guys can read out. Every reading that I post on Instagram, it is timeless, okay? So, you guys can head over to my Instagram. All that information, again, is inside of the description if you guys are into reading, you know, little mini readings. So, I am going to be quiet. I'm going to give you guys a, choo a time, sorry, to choose over your option. All right, you guys, so by now you guys should have had enough time to choose. I'm going to begin the reading. Hey, guys, so if you chose option number one, which is Jesus, the divine healer, when will you guys get married? Um, when will you guys get married? So some of you, you could be Christian. Um, if you are not Christian, don't worry about it. This may be a time where you are strengthening your faith and whatever you believe, this will be a time where you are calling in a, high, a higher power. Sorry. Um, it is going to be when you are more aligned with your spirit guides, your spirit team, and a higher power. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Now, this is a time frame where you guys are going to get married. This will be how you guys are going to feel before you get married in the blockage that you have before you get married. Let's just start off with the blockage that you guys are going to have. Um, so before you get married, this is something that you will need to clear or this is something that is going to be a blockage. Speak in your mind, right? Speak in your mind. So I feel like God, the divine, the most high, um, want you to get in this state of mind where you are speaking your mind and actually um, it's going to be at a time where you are actually doing what you are meant to do. Um, some of you can be doing a lot of sound work, um, sound therapy. You can also be doing music. You can also just be um, delivering messages. Maybe this is a time where you are doing a se seminar or something in that nature um, where you are putting together groups um, or advocating for someone or it's when you guys are making a lot of connections but this is a blockage so this is something that will need to be cleared or this is something that is going to be you know blocking you from actually being with your divine counterpart um, use your words and use your words wisely is what I'm getting um, so, yeah, that would be a blockage that you guys have before you meet with your person. Um, you will need to clear feeling like, well, where is mine, right? You may go through a lot of um, jealousy here, feeling like frustrated with life, feeling tied down with burdens of bills some of you are going to go through that because you need to align with where you are meant to be and what you need to be doing um you will be doing a lot of like you will be finding connections but they will not last or they will not stick um the, you know yeah you needing to share with others a lack of um confidence you really needing to boost your confidence. That will be a blockage before you meet the one. So this is something that you will need to clear out. How you are going to feel when you actually meet the one. You are going to feel confident. You are going to feel at bliss. You are going to feel um, happy. You may be, like I said, when you meet the one, you are going to be going on like some type. It can be on a cruise. It can be on a, a family gathering. Um, some type of work trip. Uh, maybe you decide to to go with the church or something like that. You know how they tr take trips here and there. 
and you are going to meet the love of your life. You and your person may decide to travel together. So, yeah, that's how you're going to feel once you meet the one. All right? So, this can happen within 12 days, 12 weeks, or 12 months for some of you. I feel like you are working your way towards that. I feel like you are working your way towards finding the one, being with the one, and locking in with the one. But it is after you lock in and find your purpose with your spirit team. Okay, Jesus, the divine healer. And I don't know why I was about to say helper. So maybe you need some help. Maybe you are lost or you feel lost and you just need that guidance. So that is when you guys are going to get married, when you are more aligned with your spirit team. Um, when you are more confident in yourself, when you are able to speak your mind and speak what it is that you really want into existence that is when you guys are going to get married for the ones who chose option number one i hope you guys found this video helpful sorry that is short but yours was kind of straight to the point i am going to move on again i hope you guys enjoyed until next time Hey, you guys, they chose option number one, which is organic food. So when will you get married? Oh, I don't know if I said something different in option number one, but this video is when will you guys get married? So you guys will get married when you change your lifestyle. I feel like it could have something to do with the things that you are putting in your body or who you are putting in your body. But I feel like you guys are going to get married when you change your lifestyle. When you decide to do what is right versus what feels good. Um, when you decide that you want something better for your life. When you decide that you you no longer resonate with the old, okay? I'm seeing something moldy, all right? This is like having old moldy food. So as soon as you decide that that is no longer for you, that is no longer um, helpful for you or whatever, then that is when you are going to receive the one. Um, I'm also getting, this is something that you need to be praying for. This is something that you need to be asking for. Ask your spirit guides, um, um, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel or whatnot. You need to ask these archangels, your spirit team to assist you with doing better in your life and choosing, choosing, choosing healthy over like. All right. Yeah, you like to eat candy, meaning, yeah, you like to mess around with people that's probably not for you, but eventually you are going to get a cavity. It's something like that. So it's like when you eat healthy or whatever, then you have a healthier life, you know? Um, so, yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is when. This is how you guys are going to feel. This is what is going to be the blockage before you get married. All right. So let's see what's going to be the blockage before you get married. So um, things coming to the light is what is coming to me. So some type of truth that you need to see about your family is going to be something that is blocking you. Right. Right. And that does go back to what I was saying about you kind of knowing what to do versus what you are doing. Like, you know, you eating bad things, doing doing things that do not align with you. Um, you know, this can just be anything, whatever you feel is bad. But it may just be, you know, your family have some type of habits that you do not align with but you continue to do so until you get out of that until you break out of the generational curse you know what i'm saying creating babies and not staying or 
making babies and just giving them to the system or anything that is a pattern in your family doing drugs everybody in your family probably doing drugs have been on drugs going to jail this and this and this like whatever you consider being bad okay um gang activities things like that um I don't know why, but I'm here skipping out on school, skipping out on your responsibilities, things like that. As soon as you get out of the blockage, which is connected to your roots, which is connected to your mother, your father, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, your siblings, whatever, um, people that you connected with through sex for a lot of you, because I keep getting that. So it's whoever you have been connecting through sex is now a part of you that you need to disconnect with in order for you to be ready to receive someone of higher value of somebody that's for you, all right? I'm trying to watch my words because for some reason I'm feeling like with this option here, you guys get offended or you may get offended with something that I, I say. Um, so I'm really trying to watch my words and I'm noticing that. So for a lot of you, you may, like I said, you, you know what to do, but you do not do it and you defend it. You know what's right, but you do wrong. And I can't stress that enough because you know better. And I'm not telling you something that is going to hurt you. You get what I'm saying? And do y'all see how I am trying to over explain myself? For a lot of you, you have a problem with that where a person have to over explain why this is bad why right is different from left why left is better than right or why is right better than left or something like that you guys have a problem with that and it's the condition it's once you get out of the condition that you have been in you guys are programmed you guys are conditioned to be however you are but old ways will not open new doors. And I'm going to say that again. Old ways will not open new doors. Things come into the light. All right? The fact that you come from a broken home does not mean you need to create one. The fact that you have possibly created one doesn't mean you have to stay in it. It's like that. It's like something that is rooted. That condition. You kind of justify it. Well, my mama wasn't married. Her mama wasn't married. The mama before that wasn't married. The mama before that wasn't married. And you justify it like, okay, well, maybe marriage isn't for me because of all of them not being married. But no, you are meant to be married. It's something that you are justifying. They was doing this, so they doing this, and they was doing this, so I can do it, or I should do it too, or it doesn't really matter. Once you get out of that mindset, talk to your spirit team to assist you with getting you out of this, because this, this is a condition. This is mentally a condition that you are in. This is like, my life is like this, my daddy wasn't shit. My mama wasn't shit. But see, to you, that was the norm. But to somebody, like, it's like the type of life that you want do not align with the type of life that you live. Being in a wrong environment, okay? Because you was here, this shit right here, this here, you can't take here. So I really want y'all to understand that. Like, it's no shade. No shade at all no shade at all however you can't take this and bring it to here because here is a whole different thing from here so you need to understand that you need to understand that your conditions 
will not open new doors. Your conditions will keep you where you are. Your conditions is going to keep keep you in that environment. If it's wanting to get out the hood, but you're doing everything that's going to keep you in the hood. You with all that gang shit, you with all, all the drug activities, all that booty popping stuff, whatever it is you do, you with all that, but then you want to get out the hood and you can't act that way and take it here. It may need, it may not be that, but I want y'all to kind of get what I'm trying to say. Like your condition needs to change your mental condition, how you view things, how you see things. It needs to change. And I swear to you, I don't turn these cards over. So this is how you are going to feel once you are about to get married separation okay you feeling like you do not fucking fit in no more you feeling like where you are heading in life is not where you came from the things that you desire in life is the things that you've never had you didn't you didn't see how a man was supposed to love the mother because the man in your life left or you didn't see how a mother was supposed to parent their chil their children or something like that because you were a foster child. It's something like that where you didn't see the things that you want, but you want the things that you want because God wants to give you the things that you want. God is saying you are deserving of this. But in order for you to get this, you must separate yourself from that. Yes, you were there. But I'm trying to take you out of there. I'm trying to get you out of there. I'm trying to get you to see the bigger picture. I'm trying to get you to break generational curses. What I have for you, no man can touch is what I'm hearing. So you have to break free. This is moving away from them. Moving away from your family if you have to. This is... Cutting them off for a period of time if you have to. Whatever it is, you have to separate it. But there's so much resistance and this is why it was in the reverse. It's so much resistance. I love them. I, I want to I wanna be around them. I want to, that's all I know. Uh-uh. You got to get out of that. You got to come out of that. Because all you know is going gonna, is gonna to lead you to all you, all you will know. All you going to keep knowing. Do you want change or do you want shit to stay the same? What, what do you want? Because whatever you want, it's going to, you must sacrifice. You must change. Be the light. You don't have to stand in dark just because you, you were born there. Some of y'all, well, I was born into it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They don't own you. You're God's child and it doesn't matter. And you need to know that. This is knowing something. You have the knowledge and you're not applying it to your life. And this is why you are where you are. And this is why you stay where you are. You're not applying the knowledge that you was given to your life. So let's see the time frame for you guys. So nine i'm getting nine months to about because there's so much resistance here but then y'all see it says find a new meaning can't stress this enough find a new meaning like seriously just because of where you come from and who you come from or who you've been around or who you feel your loyalty should be to. All that shit don't matter. You won't change. You want to be married. You want a good marriage. You want to be a stand-up person. You want to be there for your children. You want to be there for your husband. You want to be there for your wife. You want to own a business. You want to do things the right way. You want a different type of lifestyle than where you can. You can't take where you been, where you are going. Some of you, you really need a message. I promise y'all, y'all really need a message because you cannot take this shit where you are going. 
change your ways and you will change your story. Yes, it's going to be heartbreaking telling Sophia you got to go and you can't eat that shit no more. Yes, it's going to be hard. But when you see where you are going to go, where you are meant to be, the things that are meant for you, <laughs> whatever else was what it was. Okay? So... That's you guys' message. That is when you guys will find yourself getting married. It's not really too much of a time frame. I didn't even see that 12 there. But it's not really too much of a time frame. It's more about when are you going to decide to stop resisting? When are you going to do what's right for you so that you can get what it is that you want? They have organic food. And they have the pesticide food, right? You know which one is which. You are somebody in this, like, you can't fool God, okay? You know which is which, is what I was going to say. You know which is which, and you cannot fool God into believing you don't. You ever go somewhere and you said to yourself, why the fuck am I here? Why am I here and I'm not home educating myself? I know better. Or have you ever done something and you're like, damn, shit, I knew better. Why didn't I do, why didn't I do better, right? God want you to make a choice. Some of you, you too loyal to your mom. You too loyal to your father. You too loyal to the community. You're too loyal to motherfuckers that if they were put in your position, they will take it and run with it and wouldn't even fucking look back to make sure you are behind them. Message. A lot of you are holding on to people that will never, ever, ever experience what you are about to experience. And I'm not just talking about marriage. They will never, because they weren't, they weren't equipped for it. They're not equipped for it. And it's, it's not for them. You holding back from so many blessings by holding on to these people and holding on to memories and moments that you share with these motherfuckers that wouldn't give a fuck about you if they was put in your position. Where your feet are going to go, they do not belong. They will not get to go. But you got to stop being so scared to walk through that door because what's for you is not for them. It's meant for you and only you and only you will get it. But I need you to hear me and I need y'all to hear me clearly. This has something to do with your marriage and all that, but it really has so much more to do with you. You are the chosen one. You have been chosen to do miracles in this world. All right, your time spent need to be time well spent. So no, you cannot lollygag with motherfuckers. You cannot do the same thing. You cannot partake in bullshit. I'm sorry. It's time for you to separate yourself so that you can do what you have been called to do. Step up to the plate so that you can... Do what you have been called to do. Disconnect from your old roots and reconnect with where you need to be. Your roots beyond this lifetime. Okay? I can't stress that enough. Y'all needed to hear that. So I'm going to move on. But y'all really hear me. You're going to have to separate from, from what you knew, what you know, what you knew. 
so that you can get something new, right? Let me just pull y'all one more. Some of you, you need to clear. Some of you, you need to clear your third eye. Yeah, you're 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 sitting here lying to yourself and other people. You are being somebody that you are not. This is like a fish out of water. Your life is going to start becoming like a fish out of water. It's going to become it's going to come a time where you are forced into position. Period. Yeah, you're going to be forced in to position you must release this you you're not going to enjoy that lifestyle anymore you're not going to enjoy it anymore you can't fake the funk anymore you're not going to fit in anymore your heart is going to soften if it was hardened your heart is going to soften you will not get to stay where you are all right so sorry that you came here for marriage yes marriage is going to come but the deeper message is your ass is somewhere where you ain't supposed to be. All right. So that's you guys reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it until next time. Hey, option number three. Welcome to your reading. So if you chose this um, card here, which is a message. Um, so it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me know that I deserve to receive messages and other self-care treatments. So out of all the pals, I did feel led to read this just because it just says message. And I don't feel like that really explains enough. Um, I feel that... The people who chose this option, you need to be prepared to accept love. All right. Fully accept love in its full, pure state. Okay. Um, this is you saying this prayer, but also being open to to it. Like if you say, Oh, um, God, please remove please remove people who aren't for me. Do not get sad when God starts to remove people who aren't for you. So this is kind of like what I'm getting here is like pray this prayer or whatever to receive, you know, the messages of love or whatnot. But be open to who it's who who it is that they send. OK, some of you, you already have your mind set on a person all right, I haven't got into your reading yet, but this is just the energy that I'm feeling. Some of you, you already have your mind set on a particular person or or what this person has to be. This person has to be, you know, chunky, short, and fat. Or this person has to be tall, dark, and handsome or something like that. It's like take your expectations of your person off so that you can actually receive the message openly and be willing to accept love when it's knocking at your door. All right. So that's just what I'm getting. Um, this is going to be the time frame. But we want we want to first look at what are going to be the blockages that you are going to have. When this person um, before you get married. And also how you are going to feel. So what is the blockages before you get married here? Okay. So. With the friendship being here, the blockage is an image I'm getting. I'm getting that it's an image. It can also be the friends that you have. It can also be that you are not really fully fucking realizing better off as friends. You may already have somebody in mind and you're not understanding that you guys will be better off as friends. Some of you, you're not understanding that... You're not into the same sex. You're not understanding that you will not be marrying the same sex. Some of you don't realize that, um, that, you know, flip the message how you feel it fits. But you're not understanding that you're not open to receiving the message because it's not being delivered how you want it to be delivered. So the blockage is someone that is in your life. 
It's also somebody that you guys are following. You guys can be following somebody or actually on social media following them. You know, they got all this, this, these artists out here um, acting like, you know, being a thought is going to get your ass a husband. And truth be told, it's not. It's not. And not to talk about Cardi B, but what did she say? I don't cook. I don't clean. But let me show you how I got this ring. No shade at all because she is a fucking beautiful woman. Offset is just dogging the shit out of her. And she is a very beautiful woman. But the stuff she put out is not aligning with what she want. Period. Point dot. So this is like y'all following that trend thinking you're going to get yourself a stand-up guy or something like that. And you're just going to get yourself a, a cheater, a user, an abuser, something like that. It's like, be open to receiving real love, no matter if they come in and uh, rock aware. It doesn't fucking matter what this person have on. Be open to that. It doesn't matter if you want somebody that's indian but but your lover come as a chinese doesn't fucking matter it's like be open i can't hand you shit <laughs> i can't hand you shit if you're not open if every time i'm trying to give you something you're shutting it down spirit some of you you listen to option number two because that energy for some reason has flown over here and it's not because it's not for you it's because some of you listen to option number two but this is a little different right another thing that i'm seeing is you are blocking love by not starting off as friends first not building with someone becoming one oneness all right enjoying each other some of you you are moving too fast and that's going to be a blockage before you be with the one you trying to speed date and speeding through things you have to build to get that you don't just get a husband you don't just get a wife it's not about the ring. It's not about it's not about the ceremony. It's not about the proposal. It's about the fucking oneness. It's about when shit hit the fan. You got me. I got you. Can I depend on you? It's having that person where it doesn't it's it's not about the fucking piece of paper. It's about having that person that got your back your back your top your front the bottom the the all around your big back body it's about that it's about really having a motherfucker that's gonna fight for you fight with you because it's not gonna always be fairy tales and lollybells it's about having that and a lot of these marriages do not have that nowadays Motherfucker do the wrong thing, turn the wrong way, and it's a divorce, and it's getting sticky, icky, icky all over social media. Watch who you are watching. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. Some of you, you think a marriage is supposed to be one way, and it's not supposed to be that way at fucking all. And that's a problem. So those are your blockages before you meet the one. You need to get to know this person. And if you have some per somebody in mind and you are just set fast on this person, spirit is saying no. All right. Make the effort. So when you do meet the one, I want you to know that it's good to know that you will be at this point where you are open and you are ready to, to embrace love no matter who it comes for, from no matter how it get to you you're going to be open you're going to also have um a period in your life where you are are purging and you are being honest with yourself some of you you are only the way you are because of some type of conditions some things that you monkey see monkey do right 
So when you get married, this is how you're going to feel. You're going to feel open. You're going to feel ready to put in the effort. You are going to feel balanced. You are going to, you're going to feel different. All right. You may even change your look. You, you are going to mature. Some of you, you may begin to work on your body, not getting plastic surgery, but really, you know, going to the gym, changing the things that you eat, changing the things that you wear, right? And that's another thing, you know, um, when you get married, your husband don't want to see titties out, ass out. Um, your wife don't want you online wearing them sweatpants and your thing thing is all showing. It's a respect thing. So a lot of you are going to stop. You guys are going to stop thinking, oh, I'll change when, once I get married. You guys are going to change before you get married. You guys are going to come to a state of mind where you you guys are going to come to a place in your life where you attract how you feel and I feel that you guys are going to work on your appearance I'm not thinking like a girlfriend anymore I'm thinking as his wife even if you are with somebody that you want maybe that's what you need to change um, is looking at them as just a friend and look at this as somebody that has been there for you and somebody you want to get to know and be open to that. Cause some of you, you are with somebody that you might marry and, um, this person could be a friend of yours, but it's like you, they may not have the look you want. Maybe they're fat and you want small or and skinny and built. Maybe they're bald and you want them to have hair. Whatever it is, it may just look different. Maybe they're short and you won't talk. Like it's something like that. But when you become open, you will definitely find the one. All right. You will start over again. So this will be a situation where if you do have a friend, you will start looking at this person as more than that. You will be open to that. You will look at this person as the valued person that they are and not look at them like they do not have no value just because they don't look the part. This will happen in 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months, 10 hours, I'm here. But whenever you change your mind and start putting in the effort, this is when you guys are going to get married and be blessed with a wonderful person somebody who love you somebody who is is there for you somebody who who is ready to give you that love but you gotta it's gotta be ready for it you gotta open up your heart chakra and be ready for it for um this type of connection all right so that's you guys reading i hope you guys enjoyed it until next time Hey, option number four. So if you chose this option here, forgiveness heals. So if you guys chose this option here, for a lot of you, this may, your marriage will come at a time where you are ready and willing to forgive a person in your life. It can be um, somebody who you were once with. It can be a parent. It can be a um, yeah, I'm hearing spouse, so it can be an ex-spouse or something like that. It can also be um your children, maybe um when maybe maybe your children will need to forgive you for for leaving. Maybe you want their forgiveness or something like that, but that is when you guys are going to have some form of love blossom into your life, but you got to be willing to forgive yourself and others. So it says um Dear God and Archangel Raphael, I am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what I am really, wait, for exchange for what I really want, peace and health. So, yeah, you are going to get to this point. I, I don't know why I felt like I needed to read this for y'all, but um, you are going to get to this point where you won't change. So, 
I haven't turned anything over, but I just feel like you are going to get married when you are ready to accept um, forgiveness. For some of you, you may need to forgive somebody. Somebody is asking for your forgiveness and you may just be like, no, I'm not going to forgive you and you need to forgive them so that you can receive this love so that you you're not continuing to carry that baggage a baggage that you do not want or need okay so let's see so i want to get into the blockage before you meet the one how you will feel in the time frame that you are going to um meet the one right so let's just see what we got here okay so when you meet the one like i said this okay so like i said when i said you may need to forgive a spouse some of you may need to forgive no no it's no may to it some of you you will need to forgive a spouse you will need to forgive someone that has broken your heart so that you can open up your heart for that so that you can receive love, okay? Um, there could also be, okay, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together in perfect heart with a key. And then third party. Some of you, you have um, possibly been in a third party but this will be the blockage. This will be something that you need to get over in order for you to be with the one. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so this is another thing. You guys remember when I said your kids may need forgiving, like your kids may need to forgive you. So that's going to be the blockage basically other people's opinions is going to be the blockage for you um you could possibly you could have possibly even lost a lover right somebody could have died you lost a lover since that person passed away you feel there's no way that you can get closure or you can ask them for forgiveness or whatever you could possibly have children with this person you just want your kids to understand it or or whoever. You may want their mother, their sister, their brother, um, whoever this person's family. You may want um, them to forgive you for moving on. Um, and that's something that is blocking you. You need to understand that even if they do not give their forgiveness, you have to forgive yourself in place of their forgiveness so that you can get this, if that makes sense, right? Um, you you have to know that you cannot please everybody, all right? You need to be ready to welcome in love, all right? Um, everybody is not gonna be on board and that's something that is gonna be a blockage for you. Everything that you go through do not need to be shared. Every moment that is meant for you does not need to be, you do not need to involve other people in your moments. These are your moments. These are the, this is your time. Okay. And everybody do not need to be involved. Naysayers and things like that. So, um, and I'm also getting let go of someone or something that's going to be a blockage for you. So you are just going to need to let somebody or some type of energy go before you are able to get with the one that you are going to marry sorry i was i was just all over the way i mean all over the place so you do see how new love is in the reverse and this is how you are going to feel before you meet the one right during the time that you meet the one you guys because of your blockage that's going to still be a problem for you allowing love in somebody that has has either left you someone who has passed away a situation that you cannot forget or forgive is such a blockage that they're not unlocking this lock that's on your heart and that is why you need to pray and that's that's could be why i was i was told to read your card 
because a lot of you, you need to pray and with you guys praying, this is going to help you, you know, be ready to receive love or whatnot. But a lot of you, because that is something that's, that's a blockage for you, I feel like it's going to continue to be a blockage for you because new love was in the reverse. Okay. You got to get to this point where you are welcoming in new love. And it was in the reverse. So a lot of you, you may meet people, but with this third party being here too, even if even if the person who I'm talking about did not pass away, it's the comparing comparison that is a problem. Like you really possibly comparing the new person to the old one. Oh, well, the new person, they don't wear the nice red shoes that I'm normally attracted to. Or they don't have this type of job. Or they don't come from this area in the world. Like, whatever it is, it can be something so damn dumb. But whatever it is, I feel like you, you, with you trying to compare the two, it, whoever you were with, it will never be another one. It will never be them. So get over that so that you can get new love. And until you do that, you will not be getting new love. And you need to forgive yourself for what they did to you. Shit, it just may be that it's like that Usher song. Like, you remind me of the one that I once knew. See your face whenever I, I look at you. Wouldn't believe all of the things she put me through. This is why I just can't get with you. <laughs> so, yeah, it may just be like the Usher song. Like, whoever you were with before put you through so much. Put you through so much that you have a fucking problem with trust. And that could be why, you know, forgiving. Forgiveness heals and you needing to forgive and bring forgiveness into your life. So when will you get married? Because that's the that's the real question and make it real good. Um, So you will get married when you decide that this is something that you are are ready to except in in um not a minute before and you see how this little loop is connected to this loop here it's like you cannot get married you cannot fully love just even scratch marriage but you can't even fully love until you decide that you must forgive and forget your past because it's not going to help you in your future Okay, so for some of you, it may be, I do not feel like it's five days or five weeks. I feel like it's, it's, I wouldn't even say it's anything with a, a five. Um, but if anything, I'm hearing nine months. I'm hearing for some of you five years at the most. Okay. Um. Search for exchange, whatever that means to you, because I, I don't have a message for you for that. Um, and then you got three weeks, three months. Um, yeah, I don't feel like it's going to be a short time for y'all. For some of you, it may be six months, and that's at the least is like six to eight months but like five years so between that time i don't feel like it's days and i damn sure don't feel like it's i mean i don't feel like it's weeks and i damn sure don't feel like it's days okay because you guys with this being in a reverse i am going to honor that i feel that this is such a blockage for you that new love has a hard time coming in 
And it may not even be that, that a person hurt you. It could just be some things that were done to you. It may just be that you need to forgive your parents. It may just be that you need to forgive somebody for some things that happened in your life. And until you do that, this will be in the reverse. Because this deals with a lot of trust. You not trusting you're not trusting what you see is what you are seeing. You're not probably trusting your intuition. So it's more than just, you know, your parents and things like that. It has a lot to do with your perception. All right. So that is you guys reading. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time. Hey, option number five, my last option here. So you have improving health. So a lot of you, when are you going to get married? This is when you improve your health. Um, I haven't turned anything over, but I feel that for a lot of you, you will get married when you make that move. You will get married when you try something new, try somebody else or try to do something new. All right, you will get married when you start to follow your calling and it's been calling you for decades. All right, when you finally you know surrender to your your guides, your angels, that's when you are going to get married, but I really feel like it's is when you try something new. All right, trying something new, luck is going to be on your side. That's when you are going to get married. So this will be how you are going to feel the time frame. The time frame and let me see, let me see, let me see. The blockage. I want to start with the blockage that you are going to have before you get married so that you can kind of work through those things so that you could lead to marriage. This will be how you are going to feel and this is going to be the time frame. All right, so... The blockage that you are going to have is your commitment. And y'all remember how I said when you accept change and when you decide that you want to try something new. So with this bond, for some of you, it may talk about you and it may talk about you having a bond with a person, but what I am getting is it's your it's your it's your your latch on to something that you are doing. Something that you have been working on that you want to bring you some sort of abundance that has yet to bring you that abundance. Because for some of you, I know that you might not want to hear this, but it's not going to bring you anything. All right. Your true works, where you are really supposed to be, is going to be something that is going to fulfill you. It's going to make you whole. It's going to be very rewarding. But you're not there. And that is why bond is a blockage. It's you committing yourself, you signing up for things that do not align with you. It's the, bo it's the bonds that the the bond that you've built, the loyalty to someone else or something else, your love and faithfulness being to something that is like, it's like having an out-of-body experience, like it's something outside of you. It doesn't align with you, but you, you, you're trying to keep at it because you do not want it to fail. You don't want it to end, but a lot of you, you need to try something new. You don't like change. Some of you may be fixed signs because you do not like change. You don't like when something is is, is a shocking change. You don't like that. A sudden change for you means everything has came crumbling down, but you are the type that need the universe to cause tower moments in your life because you will not move even though you are hurting even though you do not feel fulfilled even though you are eating things that are not filling your soul is the resistance to accept the major transformation that needs to happen in your life and that's something that 
you guys are resisting and because you continue to stay in a field, right? In a field or some type of community that you guys could possibly be working with, you're not growing. This has literally been at a company for years and you just, you have nothing to show for it and you're living check to check. You're not growing, right? So that will be the blockage before you meet the one. This is something that you need to clear. And before I turned anything over, I said, a lot of you need to try something new. Go different places. Old ways can't open new doors. And I don't know why that's that's been the thing for a lot of you. So how you will feel when you meet the one you will feel like you are more tuned in with yourself. You will be doing a lot of refocusing. You will be doing a lot of soul searching. You will be ready to experience a different type of energy. A lot of you will be more open to spirit and into all that witch shit is what I'm hearing. A lot of you... You know, you may be conditioned where some of you, you are allowing your religion to dictate what you do with your life, who you date, the type of person you date. You try to stay within. I get that you just want to stay within, you know, what you feel is safe. So dating within your race. Oh, that's safe. It's no harm there. I'm, I'm used to that. When your person is outside of your race, whatever you have been doing and you don't want to do, it's like do the opposite. Like whatever you want to do, do the opposite of that. You want to stay at your your um, house or your apartment a few more years, do the opposite. Put in a 30 day notice and move out. You have to trust that you will be taken care of. And when you meet the one is when you are ready to take this risk, when you have detached from not the world, but from the norm, when you have detached from what you know, and you are open to what's to come. All right, so yeah, when you are at this stage of getting to know somebody different, um, loving yourself first, and you know, like I said, that can have a lot to do with like your conditions, your religion, religious beliefs, and things like that. Um, when you stop hiding who you really are with the deception being there, when you stop lying to yourself about the things that you really want. For some of you, if you are into the same sex, you are into the same sex. That's yes, that goes against what you believe, but it's it's about finding you, finding what works for you and not what you was told, not doing what you was told to do. Do it, do what works for you, do what's right. Um, stop working. Stop working at um, firms and people who don't do not appreciate you when you stop doing shit that that is a waste of time. Basically, soulmate here. Exactly when I said, um, you know, some of you, you know, you are even if it's not the same sex, but just dating somebody that you probably would never have dated or dating outside your race or something like that. It's like the norm is actually. It's it's kind of diff like sorry y'all I'm getting all over the place. The norm for you is bad. Like normally, oh good, you got your house, you paid off your car, you built the business, you still in your hometown, everybody knows you. It sounds good, right? But in your case, it's like nah, we are trying to give you something different, okay? something different for you you aren't supposed to stay there all right you are supposed to lead a nest 
all right let your friends help you spirit guide spirit team and things like that be open you not open keep an open mind right because your soulmate will be different from your normal type but that was in the reverse so for some of you let's be let's be completely honest some of you you are into the same sex but you have been depressed like what is it called not depressing i don't know what the hell you call it but you have repressing i don't know y'all comment if you know what i'm trying to say but you have been basically just hiding that that fact about yourself because you aren't ready to come out the closet and you coming out the closet that sudden change is what's going to is what's going to change your life so yeah so um so let's see this can happen i do not feel days i feel like this can happen in within the next four years for you guys i am seeing the four it can also happen within the next two years whenever you start okay whenever you start is when this is going to happen whenever you start taking um charge of your life is when you are going to get married when when marriage is going to knock on your door all right or you knock on marriage door or something like that so that's you guys reading i hope you guys enjoyed until next time